Hello friends, let's start with the gyroscope chapter and today we'll be seeing aeroplane and this is probably the last chapter for gyroscope because we are almost done with the syllabus and only aeroplane is remaining. We'll be seeing if anything is left but this is probably the last episode or last session of gyroscope. Let's see what it is all about. It is similar to the ship which has all the same motion that is pitching, rolling. Also a new is yawing. So yawing is when it goes like this just moves side by side so that is yawing pitching you know up and down rolling all are same so an aeroplane flying at 240 kilometers per hour to be noted we have been given speed that is v turns towards the left that is takes a turn and completes a quarter circle of radius 60 meter the mass of the rotor is given and the engine speed is given radius of gyration is given clockwise seen from the tail end only be interested in clockwise and tail end so the rotor is rotating in clockwise direction we are seeing it from the tail end the diagram is very simple front view top view side view and the triangle as usual so seeing from the back fingers curled clockwise pointing towards the right so 0 sorry O to A it is taking a left turn that is going up this is right so taking a left turn a to B and joining it you get a triangle you are done with the diagram now front view top view and side view as the plane is taking a left turn when you take a left turn the top portion or the front portion rises and the tail falls the nose rises the tail falls ok because you take a turn like this it goes up because it goes up and the tail falls so in this case active couple will be acting on the front and to keep it going we need to apply a reactive couple simple so this is active couple acting is the reactive couple the calculations are same you find omega you find i v is given r is given you find omega p and you calculate t that is i omega omega p unit will be newton meter and that's all about an aeroplane let's see another case you'll get a clear idea about rolling now in this particular second case the rotor is rotating in the clockwise direction we are seeing it from the back side and the front face or what you call four bow or four is falling that is nose in case of aeroplane it is called as nose and tail end so nose and tail end e n d e n d nose tail the nose is falling that is it is taking a right turn it is going down you can say anything when it goes down the nose falls and tail rises so whatever rises the active couple goes towards it to make it fall so to keep it rising or keep it taking a turn we apply a reactive couple simple so front view top view side view triangle looking from the back rotor is rotating in the clockwise direction looking from the back see my clockwise fingers pointing towards right okay so o a going down so b will go down o a b joining it you get a triangle you are done I will be given so that is mk square omega will be given if v is equal to r omega p is given r will be given v will be given omega v is done you can find out t so these are the two cases in which an aeroplane takes a turn and aeroplane falls now when it is rolling you don't see any gyroscopic effect you will be asked to find alpha that is phi omega square so it is very pretty simple that's all about the aeroplane Let's see a numerical about disk, they are pretty similar.